Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well after a, a great weekend, hopefully. So, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about um, uh, slightly connected to the last video I done, which was marketing, um, and it's we're gonna talk about websites. We're gonna talk about do you need a website? Do you think you need a website? Have you got a website? Now, um, in the trades industry. Um, one-man bands, um, uh, small to medium-sized trade businesses. Um, some are really, some are really crushing it. Some are really having a, you know, I've got a great idea of the way to get themselves out there and 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 make their presence known within their within their uh, field and within their in industry. Um, but other people don't really put too much weight on the website side of things. And I think, I think a website, in my opinion, is one of the most commonly question, uh, asked questions that I. That I sort of come across, and I, I, I've done a lot of networking events. I've, you know, spent a lot, a lot of time, um, you know, network, networking with people, property management companies, um, all these people that would generally give you work. And um, one of the common, most commonly asked questions was, "Do you have a website? What is your website?" And sometimes you can kind of live and die by your website. And I know when we first started off uh, six, seven, probably eight, eight years ago, I, I, I sort of started my website and, and I got an agency in to do it. And it was, it was really, it was really kind of the, the way that I thought to go. And initially it, it cost us, I think it was about 8,000 pound in, in the beginning. And that was for a, uh, like a standard website. And I don't know if some of you remember, but um, the websites on a, on a, on a screen would, would be like a square and you would have the, the two, the two side bits that would be just blank. Um, and this before we, you get now responsive websites that go all the way across the page. So, so I paid around 8,000 pounds for that, which is a huge amount of money in, in nowadays for a website. And um, moving on kind of a couple of years, the agency then came back to us and said, well, you know, you need to upgrade your website and you, you know, you need to bring it up to today's standard because technology moves on all the time. So then that cost us about another four or five thousand pounds to upgrade to uh, the responsive site. So as you can see, loads of money involved. Um, it doesn't have to be that way though, especially if you're a small one man band or you're just you know, a small to medium sized business. You know, it's not just the website that makes, that, that, that gets you the traffic and, and gets you, you know, and gets you all the people to look at what you do. It's, it's how you use that, it's how good it is, it's what, you know, what kind of copy you've got on there. Are you telling them? How much you charge that was one of the big things that we had to kind of consider back when we were doing websites um, or doing our website is it do we put our full price list on do, are we are we are we completely and open and transparent and, and I was yeah absolutely let's let's um, let's do that because there's one thing that annoys me the most about looking at a website and that is that you have to contact them to get a price and I think that puts a hell of a lot of people off so being open transparent and, and honest about your prices um, on on your rates page of your website is 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 a fantastic way to go. But you know, getting back to the question, are websites uh, are websites worth it? Are they the way to go? Nowadays, it's so simple and so easy to get a website up and running. It really is. You've got the you've got the the kind of do-it-yourself sites. There, there's so many of them out there that you can you know spend a minimum amount of money on a monthly basis, and they host it for you, and they're literally like a drag and drop. And just. Just on that, I'm going to put a link below. Um, it's uh, it's a company called uh, ClickFunnels, and they they literally make it so easy. And it's not just websites; you can do, uh, if anybody knows, sales funnels as well. Um, I won't get too much into the sales funnel side of things um, on this on this tip, but um, it's it's jam packed full of um, full of uh, tools and tricks and the things that you can do for. Um, for your website, so literally, if you're if you're slightly technically minded, or or even if you're not technically minded, in my in my mind, you could a ten year old could literally build a website on this, and it's it's fantastic. So that's the the link below. Take a look. If it works for you, it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's plenty of other providers out there, um, but small small one man bands, tradesmen, um, uh, small to medium sized businesses, you have to have some kind of presence. You have to have somewhere where you can showcase what you do. You have to put you know, put your put your most recent work on there, you know, and that builds kind of SEO and that's search engine optimization that will allow your website to get to the top of of Google. Um, I mean, it's 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 a bit of a slow burn, and to get uh, to get to, to do 
real good SEO, you probably would have to get an, an agency in because there's all kinds of tips and tricks to it. But at the lower end, I mean, you don't have to get complicated with it. It's literally just get yourself a showcase, a window where people can look and they can shop and they can, they can see what you do. You know, put all your rates on there, put all what you do on there, your services. Really, showcase your services. Um, you will get results from it because you can refer people to your website. If you're doing a, a Facebook ad, which is what, something like I mentioned in the last video, you can refer people to your, to your website from your Facebook ad and, and you can use your pages as landing pages. So when someone clicks on your ad, they will land on the page that they're actually looking at. So if they're looking for a, a, a certain aspect of plumbing and you're offering many different aspects of plumbing, they click on that one aspect, they would land on that page that's actually, that, that, that's just to do with that. Because when people, you know, a lot of people will send someone to a home page, and you'll lose the you'll lose the prospect or, or the client just by sending them to a generic page. So that's 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 a really good way to go. But it's all explained in in the easy 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 to follow um, uh, platforms that you've got out there, and it is so so simple. So there is no excuse not to have a website. You have to have some kind of presence on um, or online so that you can compete with the rest of the guys that you're out there competing with or the companies. Because you know, most of these guys, you know, they've, they've got some kind of online presence. So if you're the one that hasn't, really, you need to up your game. You need to get a website. So that's the, today's tip. Um, it's, not very, uh, it's not very nice around here at the moment. We've got, um, we've got loads of rain and uh, it's pretty windy. But I'm going to shoot and uh, I'm going to go swimming. So have, the great, have a great day. Have a great uh, rest of your Monday. And I shall speak to you tomorrow with another tip. Speak to you soon. Hey, so hopefully you really loved that video and the, the, the business advice and the tips uh, that was in there for you. Listen, I've put 20 years of knowledge into all of these tips and everything that I do, I'm ultimately here to help tradesmen create the businesses they've always wanted. So if this tip resonated with you and you you know, you know found something there or you've, you've learned something, leave me a comment below, uh, the comments box just here, um, and I will respond to you personally. I love responding personally to people um, and interacting with people that are watching my videos because ultimately I want more people to watch my videos and get the message out there that, uh, that we need to be more educated when it comes to approaching a trades business. So again, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button to like this video. I really appreciate people liking my videos. Um, and then that means I can make more of the ones that are actually resonating with people. If you want to get notifications of more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button and then you'll get notified when I post up a video. If you want to take your business to the next level, I also have another training which is coming up um, called the Trade Success Secrets Training. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link in the comments below or in the, in the space below so you can register for that and, uh, and save your seat in the upcoming online training. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching this video. If you do want to learn more and, uh, and you've, you, you've got time, you can jump on the other videos we've got within this channel and uh, you, can, you can find more tips and, and more tricks on how to run your trades business. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.